The SOLIDWORKS admin image is a powerful way to deploy and update many SOLIDWORKS seats without buzzing from computer to computer performing individual installs. Instead, you create a central image that all of the users install from. Updating that image will automatically prompt the users for a service pack update the next time they start SOLIDWORKS, if the time is right for them. Let me show you how to set it up and how to deploy it. To create the admin image, you'll need SOLIDWORKS installation media. That's either a SOLIDWORKS DVD, a Decide Solutions USB drive, or my preferred method, the download from the SOLIDWORKS portal. Browse to the SLD IM folder and double click the installation manager. Choose Administrative Image. In this step, we will create the new image used to deploy the installation. When service packs or the next major release of SOLIDWORKS arrives, you'll be able to update the image using the existing settings. It's a real time saver. Select all of the products you would like to deploy and enter the serial numbers. In most cases, you will put all of your assets in one admin image. You can choose which parts to deploy to which users individually as you like. If there are any individual items you'd like to remove from the entire image, now is your chance to choose. Now select where the image will be created. The location at this point is not critical if you plan to move it to the network later, but it will have to be in a proper location to perform the deployment steps shown later. Make sure you accept the license agreement and click Create Now. For the sake of the video, we sped this up, but real time was just over 10 minutes to create on my laptop. Remember, we aren't installing now, we're just creating the image used for the install later. Once complete, you'll be prompted to set up the deployment using the Administrative Image Options Editor. It also shows the help file open to the most common deployment method through email. This is a good time to create a desktop icon so you could relaunch the editor easily. Setup consists of adding computers and possibly groups. New machines can be added by IP address or range or by machine name. All machines use the global options unless individually modified. This granular control means each machine can have unique installation footprint if needed. The tool supports machine activations as well as online licensing. The client installation options allow flexibility for whatever the scenario, new or updated install. You can install with different credentials and even run batch programs. All modifications that differ from the global install settings are clearly flagged in yellow. Of course, toolbox settings should always point to the network location or PDM vault. The desktop icon will relaunch the editor. Groups are a convenient way to bulk assign deployment settings to several machines. You can add machines with a simple drag and drop. You can remove them just the same. The manual deployment method sends an email with a hyperlink to begin the installation automatically from the proper network folder. Click to schedule a specific date and time to send the email. Or select an available computer and send the email now. Be sure you have the image in a network location that is shared with read permissions. The email contains the link to the HTA file which initiates the installation. Users click the link in the email and it begins the SOLIDWORKS installation process per the admin setup for that computer. Confirm a couple security windows and launch the app. And the SOLIDWORKS installation manager starts up and does the rest.
Push deployments are useful when the local user does not have installation rights. First, let's go ahead and add a couple of more computers. To deploy automatically, or push, out to the users, the computers must be on the same domain. There must be a user with domain admin rights. Simply select the computers and enter the proper credentials. Indicators will provide status feedback, and tooltips provide details about failed attempts. When a new service pack or major release comes out, just make a new image using the existing settings, and then swap the old files out for the new in the folder that the users are already referencing. As you can see, admin images are a great way to manage the process of medium to large scale deployments of even the most complex mixes of SOLIDWORKS installations. Contact us at DecisSolutions.com and we'll show you how to better leverage your SOLIDWORKS investment.